Hello, you might have noticed that we now have Bluetooth tags in our product catalog. They are the TGBT5 in model for indoor usage and TGBT5 out model for outdoor usage. Those tags are meant to be used in IoT asset tracking and telemetry setups. You can configure the tags using our MicroTik Beacon Manager app available for both iOS and Android. After you set up the tag, you can attach it to any object, for example, a piece of equipment you wish to track. The tag is going to broadcast information about itself in the Bluetooth Advertising Packets payload using the configured interval. This payload will have the data about the tag, such as the tag's battery percentage, its uptime, its acceleration, and in case it is an outdoor model, the surrounding temperature. There is also a setting that allows the tag to instantly broadcast the payload when the tag is tilted, when it detects a free-falling condition, or if it just started moving. Now you might ask, but how can we see those payloads and what can we do with them? The answer lies in our other recently introduced model called the NOT. In this scenario, we can use it as a Bluetooth scanner. You can position the tags across the room within the KNOT's Bluetooth range and the NOT is going to capture and display those payloads. Now let's take a look at how we can actually set it all up. When you first receive the tag, the tag is going to be in the sleeping mode. The other two important modes that you need to know about are the advertising mode and the configuration mode. The main mode being the advertising mode when the tag is actually operational and it is broadcasting information over Bluetooth. Now, for example, when you get the tag in the sleeping mode and you want to activate advertising mode, just take a magnet and put it against the magnetic switch of the tag. Once the LED stopped blinking, remove the magnet and the tag will be put into the advertising mode with its default configuration. You can leave it as it is, or we can actually change the tag settings. Let me show you how you can do that. Open your phone and enable Bluetooth in the general settings. Now you'll see the list of devices under my devices. Tap on the tag that you wish to configure, and now you'll have to put the tag into the configuration mode. In order to do that, to put the tag from the advertising mode into the configuration mode, once again, take the magnet and activate the magnetic switch on the tag until the LED stopped blinking. Once the LED stopped blinking, the app will indicate that the configuration mode was enabled. Tap on a gear icon and you'll enter the settings. You'll see general information about the tag under device status tab and you will be able to change settings in the configuration tab. We'll not change any settings, we'll leave them as they are and we'll just put the device back into the advertising mode. There is also an option to mass configure your tags if you have a few of those. Now, the tag is advertising. How can we actually confirm it? Take your knot and power it on. Enter the knot settings. Make sure that you have IoT package installed beforehand. You can get IoT package from our download page under extra packages. Just drag and drop the package into the file list and then reboot the device. Once the device boots up, you'll have IoT section available to you. Go to the Bluetooth menu and make sure that the scanner is enabled because without it, you won't be able to see any advertising reports. Now go to the advertising report section and you'll see all the nearby advertising devices that are advertising over Bluetooth, but the list can be sometimes chaotic, so we better filter out the results. You can see that we have a few filtering options available to us. We will use the address, the MAC address filtering option. Type in the MAC address of the tag, press enter, and you will see filter out results. We can see that our tag with its MAC address is broadcasting the following payloads. Uh, you can find the MAC address of the tag on the tag's label. As you can see, the payloads are in the hexadecimal format, but do not worry, we have a guide on our help.microtech.com page that will help you translate those hexadecimal values into understandable values. A quick example would be that when the payload's last octet is, for example, 64, in the hexadecimal format, when it's translated to a decimal format, it means 100%. Uh, that means that the tag's current battery percentage is at 100%. So the last octet indicates the battery percentage of the tag in the microtech format. Now, we have confirmed that our tag is alive and it is telling us all sorts, all sorts of interesting information about itself 
what else can we do? We can use router scripting to structure a single message out of these recently received payloads, and then we can send this message using MQTT publish or HTTP post, that is using our tool fetch feature, or you can structure a message and then just send it via an email. There are plenty of options. Uh, this is just one of the many use cases for our tags and the knot. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy watching this content, please subscribe.